Hey guys, welcome back. This is the vlog daily number 17 and we're getting ready to set up the electric guitar in the Unreal Engine 4. Um, apologies for this being a little bit late on the uploads. Uh, basically getting the materials set up for this guitar, it took me a good couple hours so I eventually got there. Uh, so that's why I'm a little bit late. But um, before I get into the Unreal Engine, first I'm just tidying up the UVs and making sure they're all in the the one space here, just in the UVW space there. So what I've got in mind here is I'm, I'm trying to kill two birds with one stone here. Um, I'm trying to get the UVs in the same in, in the UV space, but I want to use them as a, a light map as well, because I think I, I might be able to get away with that, because there's quite a lot of pieces here, and given the fact that this guitar is going to be quite a small object, and the, the actual scene um, I didn't think it was really necessary to create a whole separate light map for the guitar. But what I do is um, I get the UVs all set up here and then I throw it in just to see how it looks. But as you can see here I'm just, just organising UVs there. And I'm then bringing it to the, just before I'm bringing it into Unreal Engine, sorry. Uh, what I do is I get the, the reference mesh, which is the guitar size, just so that when I import it in it'll be the, the right size. So you can see it here, I'm just bringing it in. Just testing it, uh, just baking out some lights and shadows just to see how it's going to look. Then I just changed the pivot there on the guitar because it's actually, it was clipping through the floor. So I'm getting in a sort of reasonable position there. And then the first thing I'm doing is, is I'm looking at the UVs and seeing where the, the wood for the guitar neck is. And I'm just throwing on a wood texture just to see how it looks here. So I'm just in Photoshop there just outlining that, then I'm just putting in the, the wood texture as you can see, then I throw it into 3ds Max just to, to see how it looks and I find that there's a lot of jagged edges and things and it doesn't look really nice um, but I just make sure that I've, I've got the wood roughly there. So what I do instead is I bake out um, a mask of the, the guitar. So what I do is I basically get different colours for each sort of parts that I know are going to be different materials and then what I'll do is I'll bake that out so when I come into Photoshop then the the mask will easily kind of highlight the, the wood uh, all the different parts of the guitar uh, I can easily texture it and also it's really good for setting up materials in, in the Unreal Engine so as you see here I've baked out the, the mask and all I'm doing here is I'm just lining up the wood within the mask there so that way when I add it in I know it's going to be nice and clean, there's not going to be any jagged edges or any bleeding of textures. So I'm just coming back, making changes because uh, what I've done is I've actually baked light and shadow in the mask here and we don't want that. So what I do is I just put the uh, the emissive colour up in all the materials and then that way it's all flat colours. So what I'm doing here is, is I'm basically in the RGB channels, I'm getting each selection of the guitar and I'm just pasting in the just the black and white uh, channels here as you can see there so those will be the bits that are revealed within each channel so technically when you bring this in um, I'm going to have more than one texture, I'm going to have four or five actually just within the one texture, it's really efficient so here I start building up the material for the electric guitar it's quite, a, I wouldn't say it's a complicated material but there's quite a lot going on because there's about four or five different materials within this guitar so I'm trying to break all that up and I'm doing it within the one texture and really what I'm doing here is I'm creating parameters so that I can control the uh, the specularity, the the roughness of each surface, uh, metallic so objects that look really like metal and stuff like that I'm creating parameters so that I can sort of change that on the fly during runtime and stuff so I can get the kind of right look that I want. Uh, here I'm actually creating a, a small light setup because I also want to create a material here where I could use it for lamps and stuff as well. Uh, but I found that I made the, the material here a lot more complicated than it had to be. So what I'd spent just the last couple of hours doing um, was just creating a suitable, a more suitable material for the guitar itself. This is what I was at at that point. I thought the guitar was going to be white. Uh, but finally when I'm done there with the guitar 
um, I stick with this. So this is the final result. Um, this is very similar to the photograph actually of the guitar that I took. So there was a lot of um, a lot of experimenting and getting really familiar with um, the material editor in the Unreal Engine because, like I say, there's a lot of different materials here. Um, you can see like the the fretboard. You can see like the whammy bar and stuff like that. They've all got different materials, and you can see the just at the back of the neck there, the wood's just coming through. So I had to I had to um, deal with that using masks. Um, so there's a lot of that kind of going on here, but it's created a, a good framework for when I move on to the other instruments and stuff because they'll have a, sort of similar issues where I want to create different materials and things like that um, and assign different surfaces to the one object. Um, but, but that's the guitar so far here. So I'm, I'm going to leave it here with the guitar and the next thing I want to do is I want to move on to the drums. So I think this should be quite a a speedy, um, a speedy process here. I mean, I say that, but we'll find out. Um, again, I've um, I've got some ideas I want to uh, try out for the drums as well because it's kind of lit up a bit differently. I'm going for more of a almost like a sort of car paint finish with the drums. It seems to be quite a common uh, finish you get with uh, the drum kits. So I want to try and get that um, applied to the drum kit. So. Um, but thanks for watching this, uh, hopefully you enjoyed it here, uh, and I will speak to you very soon.